Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install RetroArch on your Android device. So this applies to Android phones and Android tablets. Right, so I just want to mention we are not downloading RetroArch from the Google Play Store. From my experience, that version is a bit out of date. What we will be doing is going straight to RetroArch and downloading the latest APK file directly from their website. For anybody that's interested, an APK file is basically an Android application. Right, so once you're on RetroArch.com, scroll down and then we're interested in this section here where it says get RetroWatch. So click that once, go down, pass these ads, and then we're interested in this next section where it says download nightly and download stable. And then at the bottom it should say detected OS Android. If you're seeing this detected OS Android, then you're on the correct path. Now the version we're going to download is download nightly. So click it once, and then it should begin downloading the file. And once the file has downloaded, we can click open. Now on my phone, because I'm downloading this application from a source that isn't the Google Play Store, my phone will kind of flag it as a potential threat. So I'll see this message here and I'll just go to settings and I'm going to click here where it says allow from this source click that once and then click install. So I'm just temporarily disabling my phone's kind of security system just to install this. And then once that's done, rather than pressing open, I'm going to press done. And then I'm going to disable this button again, just so we can restore our phone security. And now we're going to go to our home screen and find RetroArch. There it is. And I'm just going to press it to open it. Now it's asking for read external storage, write external storage, press OK and allow. And here we go. We've got RetroArch 1.18 installed, which as of today is the latest version of RetroArch. Now I'm going to show you how to add games to RetroArch. In my downloads folder, I have a game file. The game that I have downloaded is a NES game. So what I'm going to do first is go to online update. So firstly, we're going to download the emulator for that game. And in RetroArch, emulators are referred to as cores. So we're going to go to core downloader. Now here's a list of all the systems available. So I'm just going to go down to Nintendo. And here are a list of NES cores you can use. For this video, I'm just going to type, tap on Messen, not type, sorry. And then once that's installed, I'm going to click the back arrow and back arrow again. And now I'm going to click this button here, the one that looks like three lines. And now we're going to go to import content. So this is where we get to import all of the games or ROM files you have on your phone. So I'm going to go to scan directory. And now I'm going to navigate to my downloads folder because that's where I've stored my game. Okay, so I'm going to go to storage, emulated zero, and then I'm going to go down to download. So this is my download folder and I'm going to click on scan this directory. And then it says scanning of directory finished. Because I've only got one game there, it takes like a millisecond to import. But if you have hundreds or thousands of games, that process will take a little longer. So now that's imported, I'm just gonna go back back again and back again and back again until we get back to the playlist screen and now if you scroll down you should see a playlist created which is named after the systems you just imported now click on that playlist and there we go here's the game that I imported now when you're playing retro games on RetroArch on your Android device, you can either use a Bluetooth controller or you can just use the touchscreen controls. The choice is entirely yours. But to load the game, all you need to do is tap on it and then go to run. Here we go. You can just use the touchscreen controls to play the game. So there's the start button. If I just push that once and push it again, Whoop, let's jump. There we go and shoot and moving left and right down up. There we go, the game's working. Now, in order to go back to the RetroArch main screen, all you need to do is see this little alien in the bottom corner, just tap that once, and that takes you back to the quick menu. Right, so I've shown you the basics of how to use the latest version of RetroArch on your Android device. If you'd like to learn more about RetroArch, I have a whole list of video guides linked in the description. They range from beginner's guides to intermediate 
to more expert guides. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.